Hi, my name is Randall Frazzato, and this is the video blog for the Fulton Theatre's final production of the season, Phantom, by Maury Esten and Arthur Copit. Basically, this is an opportunity for you to see what goes on behind the scenes as we mount a production of this size, uh, give you status updates as to where we are in the rehearsal process, give you a chance to meet the cast members of the show, as well as see what it takes to mount something this large. So, hope you have a good time. Come along, check it out. So we're finished with the first week of rehearsal. Uh, we've had an opportunity to learn all of the music. We've begun putting the show on its feet, uh, which means the director, Mark Robin, tells us where to enter from, where to exit from, and what to do in the meantime there. Uh, we've begun to bond as a cast, which is a lot of fun, and uh, we're clipping along at quite a good pace. We should be finished staging the show within the next couple of days, and then the fun begins where we get to actually put the, sh put the uh, elements of the show together and really see what we've got on our hands, which uh, if the first couple of days of rehearsal is any indication, it's going to be a monster hit. So get your tickets while you can, and uh, check back in. We've got some interviews coming up. Hope you enjoy them. Okay, <laughs> so here we are with one of the uh, stars of our show. Uh, please tell us what your name is and who you play. My name is Beth Kirkpatrick, and I play an opera diva. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, what do you think the show is about? Um, I think that... Overall, this show is probably about love. I think that um, a lot of shows are about love, but I think this one is about a couple different kinds of love. It's definitely about a love of music, but it's also about the love a father has for a son, and you know, there are definitely a romantic love that blossoms from a shared love of music, so I think that's a theme that happens all around the world, so this is one that really hits it home. Right. <laughs> Um, how are rehearsals going for They're you? They're going really well, yeah. It's been going incredibly fast. We learned all the music in probably two days, which is amazing since there's a ton of it. And we have almost blocked the entire show now. So we already ran Act One yesterday. It's huge. Nice, nice. We're ready. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite part of the rehearsal process? Um, for me, I would have to say learning music probably. I come from a musical background and there's something really satisfying about meeting all these new people and then you can, after a day or two, do something together really well. So mm -hmm. it was great that that went fast. Now we're having fun blocking it. So. <laughs> nice. Um, what excites you about the uh, act of live theater? Live film theater, it's so unpredictable. You kind of never know what's going to happen. You know, that's what keeps you on your toes is that every night you do the show, the audience reacts differently, the people on stage might react differently. Something could go wrong, and so it's exciting. Keeps right. it fresh. And do you find yourself feeding off that energy in any way? Oh, absolutely. A great audience really can keep a show electric. You know, like big laughs, or even if they act differently than you would expect, it's you know exciting for us to think how we're affecting people differently every night. Sure, sure. What do you hope the audience takes away from this particular produ particular production of Phantom? Um, I hope they take away an appreciation for this musical. I think it's. I have done the other Phantom, the Andrew Lloyd Webber Phantom, and I think that one's a little more well known and um, has a little more popularity, but I think this one is really unique and has a lot of great things to offer. So hopefully people will come away and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe I never knew this one. I'm going to go buy the CD. <laughs> nice. Uh, do you have any words of wisdom to young actors who are wanting to pursue this as a career? <sighs> I would say work really hard, and I would also say, I always tell people this, that when you choose acting, you're probably choosing it because you love being on stage, you love performing, you know, something like that. But you also have to realize that it is a really strange lifestyle. You know, you're kind of choosing a nomadic way of life where you kind of go where the jobs take you and you have to be flexible about a lot of things. So I would say that although when we're doing our job, we're having so much fun that it'll blow your mind, it's also a really difficult job. So you have to be willing to work hard. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Um, so we're going to ask you now the big 15, we're calling them. Uh, so just answer the first thing that comes to your head. Okay. Um, where are you from originally? Cincinnati, Ohio. Who did you go to prom with? 
Uh, junior prom, Larry Whalen. Senior prom, Jonah Nobler. What's the first Broadway show you saw? I saw Les Mis. I was nine. Nice. Yes. Uh, where did you go to college? I went to Northwestern University in Chicago, Evanston, Illinois. Uh, how many times have you performed at the Fulton? This is my first time. Big number one. Woo nice. <laughs> um, what is your favorite word in the English language? Um, maybe luscious. <laughs> it's fun to say. <laughs> what is your least favorite word? Probably moist or tuna fish because I don't like it. <laughs> some, what if you, what if you have some moist tuna fish? Ew! Yeah, it's disgusting. Uh, who would play you in the movie version of your life in today's celebrity? In today's celebrity, choices, with oh today's my. celebrity choices. Um, I don't know. I would say, let's see, maybe Kate Winslet or Rachel McAdams, because we're all equally gorgeous and amazing actresses. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what, were you, what will your biography be called? Um, Beth Kirkpatrick, I'm Really Loud. <laughs> all right. Uh, did you have any posters on your wall when you were a kid? Of course, yeah. Lots of Broadway posters. Les Mis. Um, all the classics, probably Phantom, maybe. Okay. And maybe some sports posters, too. I used oh. to play soccer. Nice. Yeah. Uh, let's play Desert Island real quick. You're stranded on a desert island. You can bring a book, a movie, and a CD. What do you bring? Oh, my goodness. I would probably bring um, a book that was really long so I could read it over and over. Maybe like War and Peace. I've never read it, but it's always been on my to-do list. Um, a movie. I don't know, probably something funny. Something that made me laugh over and over and over again that you could like watch again and again. Or maybe Love Actually, that's a little heartwarming and funny. Sure. And music, maybe some Joni Mitchell, something beachy. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, what song did you sing at your audition for this show? Oh my goodness. Um, we got cast like six months ago, so right. it's like, who knows? But probably something opera-y, musical theater-y, like You'll Never Walk Alone or Climb Every Mountain. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's the best piece of advice your parents ever gave you? Um, probably to study hard, do well in school. I think it pays off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you and I had to arm wrestle, who would win? Oh, me definitely. No oh. question. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been Beth Kirkpatrick. <laughs> thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you soon. Yay! Thanks. Bye.